Tonight, crews that aren't on the fire lines are gearing up for what could be an even more devastating fire season than last year. The 2020 season broke records, and Cal Fire says the numbers are even worse so far this year. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live at McClellan with the disturbing data out, Anna. Yeah, Cal Fire is telling people to start preparing now because they expect their own resources to be stretched thin. And that, on top of a drought, could hit their crews on the ground and in the air hard. More fires started, more acres burned, and more homes lost. It's the reality Cal Fire crews are preparing for once again. This year, fires are already spreading faster. New data paints a disturbing image. Roughly 40,000 more acres burned this year so far compared to last year at the same time. Yeah, it's a little shocking to look at for sure. Lynn Tomachoff with Cal Fire says the statewide drought is causing several big problems. Last year we had a little bit more rain, uh, a little bit snow, more snowpack um, further into the springtime, whereas this year uh, we pretty much came to a dead stop, you know, in April, May. More fires will stretch Cal Fire resources thin at the same time they're dealing with low water supply for fighting fires. No, that definitely becomes a little bit of a struggle. We got to make sure we know where all of our water resources are um, and that they're available to us. But at the same time, we have to also have to be careful about um, the water uh, for communities that they use for drinking and, and, you know, daily use. When these fierce wildfire flames hit, it's the Red Cross stepping in to help the evacuees, people who sometimes lose everything. And it seems that every summer they say this is the worst summer on record for wildfires. Here we are again. Spokesperson Steve Walsh says the agency prepares like it will be the worst year for fires every year. People can help by being ready. This is the time to prepare. We want everybody to make that list of things that they would need to take with them if they have to evacuate. Yeah, and Cal Fire says resources got so thin last year they were depending on local governments, out of state resources, and even international resources. Now, things have not gotten to that point this year yet, but the fire season is far from over. We've got a long way to go still. All right, thanks, Anna.